schools are good point. Who's so yeah, what is better than the electoral college or the popular vote? Oh my gosh, that's a great. <laughs> <laughs> These are great questions. The, the teacher in me loves this. I've been asked to sign on, um, and a whole bunch of people signed on. And my good friend, I think Jean Green from Houston, was carrying the bill uh, to get rid of the electoral college. I'm thinking to myself, had Hillary Clinton won, probably none of them would have signed on to it. <laughs> on and, and so. I'm really torn on this. I, I think any time, and, and I do believe the Constitution is a living document. I think Jefferson's quote about as mankind progressed and as technology progressed, the document was to progress with it to, as how you deal with these things. But I do think you have to be very careful about some of those core principles. Um, it always seems to me, going back to the Senate and the filibuster, the Electoral College seems very undemocratic to me. I mean, I think at, at first blush. But it also was an attempt to unify the less populated areas to try and give some voice. Um, now those who would say this, the state of Wyoming has about 500 and some thousand people. They have less than in this congressional district. But the two senators from Wyoming have the same clout as the two senators from California. And the electoral college system and, and how we divide that representative proportion is a challenge. So I, I don't have a concrete opinion on it right now. Um, I do think it's incredibly uplifting to me to watch citizens thinking about it, to have us talking about this again. It makes us think that, again, the framers created something amazing. It's been amended over time. We may be at a point now where there's constitutional issues coming up, constitutional issues of conflict and things like that, that we may be called upon as citizens to try and solve. And uh, that's what I got to hear feedback from all of you. It's. Uh, that one especially. Uh, again, if you're on the losing end of that, if you win the popular vote and lose the electoral college, it's just maddening for people. But yes, sir. 